It's good to be home. Uh, you know, we've had a couple weeks away here and uh, obviously have a chance to play a great team in SMU, much improved. Larry Brown's done a terrific job and uh, we know it'll be a, another great challenge for us here. Uh, more focused on our scouting reports, more focused on personnel, probably more focused on um, just um, maybe more zone and, you know, guys sliding the feet and, you know, um, you know the, just not putting our hands as much on people as, you know, as we like to. Uh, I think we like to be a little more physical at times, but, you know, we don't want to get in foul trouble or certain guys really can't afford to be in foul trouble. So it's a little tough, but I think, you know, the adjustments we're making will be fine. What's been the biggest change for you start at, with the start of league play? Uh, just feeding off my teammates, you know, uh, trying to do whatever uh, I can to help my teammates be in a position to win, you know, um, everybody just trying to step up. How has the toughness of the conference schedule helped your team so far? Yeah, well, I think, you know, we know as coaches uh, the importance of every night, how crucial it is. There's no nights off. And, and win or lose, you got to come back with a mindset, ready to grind it back out. And it starts with practice, you know, all the little things. And there is no margin for error when you're playing against great teams, especially on the road. And, uh, you know, we got to come back in with the mindset. I was happy to practice. We got off the bus after a long travel and, and uh, practice yesterday. And uh, we're getting ready to practice again for an early game tomorrow at noon. I think people maybe undervalued the presence that Keith brought last year off the court, the leadership aspects that he had as one of the older guys on the team. Are you guys learning a little bit more about what it takes to, to provide that kind of leadership, not just on the court, but off of it as well? Uh, I think so. I think, um, you know, losing any you know, any guy like Keith, you know, who set all types of records here and, you know, did a great job here. But um, that's tough. Losing him is tough. But, you know, um, with guys like me, Cal, uh, Isaiah, you know, we just got to step it up a little bit more, probably be more vocal. Um, uh, demand more, but I think you know we're on the verge of really you know tipping everything over and really starting getting some wins. Talk about finding that balance and you put up a season high 29 the last game, but you can't find the win. How do you find that balance of scoring, helping out your teammates, that sort of thing? Uh, just to uh, keep maintaining, you know, uh, sticking to the uh, game plan. You know, um, we want to step it up defensively um, with all of our guys, including the bigs, and um, just continue to grind. Hey, Night fans, come out January 18th as we take on SMU for Nights for Youth Day. Charge on.